Hey there, native fish people. Uh, Mr. Catfish here. A lot of you have been asking for an update on my fish tanks. Well, we got some bad news here. This is the 180. As you can see, there's no fish in there. Yep. Went away. Had somebody take care of my tank. And, uh,. They just ended up dumping a lot of feeders in there, and I, when I got back, fish were really sick. Had ick and fin rot and anchor worms, and well, they just didn't make it. I tried to save them, and I thought I had a couple of them saved, but they ended up dying anyways. So, here's the thing: what am I going to do with the 180? I'm going to leave it. I thought about leaving it like it is and just restocking it, maybe adding some more plants. Oh yeah. Curly leaf pond weed. The last video was tall. Over the winter, it died down because tanks got down to 40 degrees, but it's coming back. But anyways, should I restock this tank, or uh, should I tear it down and redo it? Maybe turn it into a fully planted native tank with a uh, community fish, you know, some dace and shiners, mad toms, and I don't know what else. Maybe some orange spotted sunfish or should I turn it into a stream tank with darters and shiners and dace and who knows and with a high current? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I just keep it like this as a predator tank with a sunfish and pike and everything like I had before or do something different? Also, my other tanks here. This is a 35. Um... There's no fish in there either. It's just mostly plants, and I'm not sure what I want to do with this tank. For any of you wanting to keep uh, sword plants in your native fish tanks, uh, yeah, they can withstand cold pretty well. That tank got down to 40 degrees over the winter, and these sword plants lived and were growing. And uh, during the cold water times, the leaves that were growing were really dark red on these two over here and uh, not so much on that one but the two Reuben red and the red tiger the leaves were really dark when the water was cold not sure what I'm gonna do with that tank so any suggestions let me know also down here is a little shrimp tank I had I know I know it's not native but you can still see them in there some in there Anyways, I'm thinking about adding some pygmy sunfish to that tank. So, also, on another note, with my channel, I want to do more videos, but I'm not sure what to do. I had some ideas. Um, I want to know what you guys want to see. Do you? I had maybe some collecting videos I thought about doing. Also, maybe some like uh, species species uh, highlight videos. You know, take one species every week or something, and uh, do a little informative video about it. You know, their habitat, their range, collecting tips, uh, husbandry tips on. I don't know. I'm also going to be doing some building tips or building videos. I'm sorry got some broken tanks I want to repair I'll probably do videos on those but let me know what you guys want to see do you just want to see videos updates of my tanks every week or do you want to see other stuff let me know and uh, we'll start making more videos alrighty oh, don't forget to check out the native fish keepers forum at nativefishkeepers.forummotion.com I'll have a link in the description also Thanks for watching.